Hello there, my name is Darth Runus, and this is going to be a short little video to help you get set up in the Warlords of Draenor beta. One of the most frustrating parts of this process is losing everything about your characters from live, such as macros, key bindings, and where you put everything on your bars. However, you can quite easily salvage all of these things, and even transfer them over to new characters you make using the level 100 templates you've access to with the Warlords of with the beta on the Mechatork server. This process may or may not be necessary for everyone, but those of you who don't find it necessary, well, you're not here anyway. The basic idea behind this is that you is that you simply want to copy a few files from your live account's WTF folder, namely the layout, macros cache, and bindings cache files. These files, however, are often recreated when you log into the game if you have a file that's older than the game expects. When this happens, the game is going to say take those old files and convert them into old and back files, which is old, I don't even know what that, it's just a wow thing, and backup files, and it's going to create new ones in their place for the WTF folders that it needs. The solution to this is pretty simple, although it's a bit tedious. You have to replace the contents of these files that the game recreates with the contents of your old files. So you're going to want to open up your live WoW folder and your beta WoW folder and navigate through the WTF folder into your account folder, which on the beta is just a sequence of numbers, I have no idea why, and then into the realm folder for whatever characters you're dealing with. For me, as you'll see in the background, this is going to be the fire tree folder on my live account, and for anyone using the level 100 templates, as of this date anyway, it's going to be the Mechatork beta server. Then you need to open up the folders of the characters you're going to properly copy over. For me, it's my Warriors folder, Mancharge. Now, I've had to do this process for the first four characters that I created on the beta, but oddly enough, my Warrior it worked out just fine when I made him. Logged in once, logged out, and then copied over the folders. I'm not sure why that was the case, but it sure makes the video in the background a lot less useful. Anyway, what you should see is a very different looking character folder for live and for beta. Beta should either be missing two important files, the bindings and macro cache, or they should be... There should be an empty one that's one or zero kilobytes and an older backup file one that is bigger. The layout file will also be out of date and more or less useless. So as you see in the background there, you're going to need to open up the files the game has created in place of anything deemed out of date and completely overwrite them with the contents of the files from your live game. Make sure once you do this you remember to save the file or you're going to have to do it again and you're wasting your time. The program I'm using this for is Notepad++, which is a simple coding program I have. I use it because I edit MPQ files occasionally and do stuff like this whenever I'm, you know, transferring a character or name changing a character, because this is the same issue that happens in those cases. Um, you can use other programs for this just as fine. This is just what I have. You might be able to even use Notepad for this, although if I remember correctly, which is a while ago, since I tried this. It comes up with a wow, doesn't know how to open a WTF folder, so I just use this. I would recommend it because it makes this whole process, along with MPQ stuff, a lot easier. Um, mainly because it formats everything nicely. You can see in here it actually looks like a coding program, just a very, very light version of, you know, Eclipse and stuff. If you ever have I done any programming, guys? Um, but. That should wrap it up. I mean, I hope to see you on the beta with me sometime soon, comfortable in your new setup. Thanks for watching, guys.